What's up guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to some Farming Simulator 22. This is something a little bit different for me. I'm going to be doing a contracting series over here on Attingham Park. Going to be, all of the farms are set up um, like it is in a, like it would be in a multiplayer. So they're all owned by separate, uh, they're all separate entities. Um, they all own their own separate fields and I own one tractor and one contracting yard and a little tiny field which is attached to the contracting yard. I'm going to start with £10,000 and then we're going to move on from there. Do contracts for people, so for different farms. So we're going to be doing some contracts for Malt House or it could be cross fields, depending on what... Um, depending on what um, what I feel like doing on that kind of specific day. So um, we're going to be doing that, basically. It's not role play. It's just me playing farm sim slightly differently. I didn't want to put myself in a position where all of a sudden the role play is too much for me. I want something that I can just be okay with. Just be okay with playing. So hopefully... Hopefully, we can get on a right a bit. I'm a little bit worried about being a contractor and not having contracts because all of the fields are owned by farms. So I can't, there aren't any contracts. So it's just a case of me wandering around and going and having a look and see what needs doing on each farm and then working out how much we're going to get paid, basically. But anyway, I want to say a big massive thank you to all of the members over here um on youtube you really do keep this channel going and i really do appreciate each and every one of you and your names will be scrolling across the bottom of the screen there so thank you ever so much to you you're all absolutely um amazing if you're new around here hit that subscribe button give the old like button a little tickle as well it really does enjoy that and turn on notifications to be notified every single time new content drops over here on this channel all right but that's the housekeeping done. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we are, standing in front of our brand new 6230 John Deere. And this is our little yard. We have absolutely nothing in this yard. The only thing we do have is a few bags of seed, which are just laying around. And we've got these points, which are um, buy points, which we can use to fill up the um the equipment when we own it so i'm thinking like what we'll do is once we get let's say a fertilizer spreader i'm going to keep an eye in the store because i do think i want to buy kind of second hand um and then we'll work out how much we've spent and then we charge that to the farm plus whatever we're going to be charging for for the work so the the quicker we can get our equipment the quicker we can start making more money on edge water i couldn't get these to work if they don't work i will delete this shed and delete those and i will put down the um the silos instead okay over here we've got a field Oop, over there let's get in the old tractor and uh, we've got to start thinking about heading off so over here we've got a field or part of the field. This was field five um, on Attingham. So I decided to build that little yard in there. Which is given I think it gives a scope for some storage. Um, at least if I want to do sort of bales and stuff like that. Um, you know, we've got the storage shed at the back and we've got some places to put the equipment. Um, or worst case, if I want to expand the yard, then we can lose this part of the field, basically. So, so we've got that. That is set for grass at the moment. Um, one day, in one recording, is going to be will be classed as one game day. Okay, um, I've got it on three day seasons, so I'm looking at doing one or two of these a week. I think for now and sort of see how see how long they take me to record and stuff um but uh we've got some bees over here so we can always use that to as a a, a way of making us some money so that's it that's my yard pretty much 
Um, you know, kind of built it up. Power station is down there, ready for obviously because we needed we needed the power. Um, I'd like to be able to sell these straight. Like I'll set this up so people can pull in and buy. So maybe if I could if I could set that up to sell. I know you can with like the greenhouses, but I don't think you can with the honey. So, which is which is a shame really. Right, today's jobs fertilizing for malt house today which is the farm just down here the two fields we are doing are fields one and field two they've both got crop in them i think one's at growth stage uh one where the other one i don't think is at a growth stage that's visible so we are gonna have to see i'm hoping that this john deere takes some form of row crop tire or narrow tire um, if it doesn't, then Malthouse will have to um, loan us a tractor, but that is also going to deduct, sorry, from um, what we can charge them. Let's have a look. Let's customize. What do we got? Trelleborg section, which is where we are now. TM100s. See, I don't know with the twins. Does Farm Sim look at that as eight row tires or four normals? Is it just a matter of what they're called? So the TM100s, they're definitely, they are definitely row crop tires, I think. So let's, I'll tell you what, let's customize it. I was going to say that's going to come out of our pocket, but those were free, so happy days. <laughs> now let's get down and let's see. Let's see what they've left us um, at the farm because we're using the farm's equipment and fertilizer or lime or manure or whatever it's going to be. We're using whatever the farm leaves us with um and obviously we can use the farm's stuff to refill if we need to um and uh but we're going to be using our tractor so we don't you know we can charge them for um the use of our time and our tractor but we can't charge them for anything that we've um that we're using or um, fertilizer or anything like that so pop you in there that is full of solid fertilizer which is amazing the two fields that we need to do today are the two fields just in front of us field one and field two both of those need a form of fertilization put down on them as you can see this field here is quite big um let's go and do field number one first let's go and get that done originally when i set this series up i wanted to to do it um it's a shame that you can't still see contracts um to see how much because that's where i'm going to struggle i think let me just run into here i don't think we're going to yeah nothing worst case scenario i probably would have taken off crop destruction anyway so i don't know what the width of this is on here but let's do this one first let me um set everything up here Let's get in and let's get this one done. Oh my god, it's the... This is what I don't understand. It's the harvester. It's the. It's this. Do I need to put... Okay, let me see if I can change the wheels on the... On the spreader, because look! It's done that! Farmer's not going to be happy with me. Okay, I've just quickly taken this because this is owned by the farm. So I've quickly taken that down to see if I can change the wheels. I can't. So what I've done is I've turned crop destruction 
off. That really, a fertiliser spreader, doesn't make any sense that that is going to, um, is going to affect the crop for me. So, and it's, it's, do you know what? It's, it's, it's things like that that stop me doing role play. I've said in my streams and stuff like that, by the way, if you want to watch me live, guys, link's in the description. Um, go and follow me over on Twitch. Um, you know, I've said, I'm no farm sim. I'm not a guru at all, you know, and there's so much I still need to learn about this game. Um, but at the moment, I'm kind of enjoying it. I really am enjoying it at the moment. Let's get some fertilising done, though, on this field. That's the, that's the wrong button. <laughs> See? Honestly. Do realism, GD. You'll love it. No, you won't, mate. Not at all. Not at all. We are fertilising the field. I'm going to actually bring up the menu there. I'm also fertilising everyone's driveway. Front of their house. Front doors. Front windows. They're all getting a good, thorough fertilising from me. I don't just do single jobs here. I mean, I'm helping out. I'm helping out people. You know, making sure their front gardens are proper nice. Luscious green grass you're going to get. You know, it's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well out there. I really, really do. And I, I hope we can do something. Something with these um, with these videos. I wanted to start bringing something farm sim related over here. Like I said, it might only be once or possibly twice a week. Um, I'm still going to be doing me seven days to die things. Um, so... I just wanted something a little bit extra over here um, to try and uh, to try and iron out some of the uh, some of the lumps and bumps that we've got going on over here at the moment. Um, and uh, and as I said, I am really really back into back into farming at the moment. Um, and with my live streams at the moment, when we're doing some. Um, we're doing Edgewater, which is an absolutely brilliant map. Really, really enjoying a bit of Edgewater right now. Um, so we've got that going on as um, over on Twitch as a, a just a, a playthrough kind of map that we're the, that I'm doing. Every Saturday, I'm on Purbeck at the moment, um, getting my head around other bits and pieces to do with farm sim so the last one i did we had a look at course play so so i want to do kind of course play i want to do turn you off course play auto drive maze plus those kind of things the bigger the bigger mods that that drop so you know i look at like the ccm stuff all, all of that kind of stuff i want to I want to try and get my head around at some point. So that's what we're happening over there. So I wanted something different over here. And if anybody knows me, everybody will know that I absolutely, I love this map. And I wanted to do something on it. Just purely because. Purely because I love this map. I know this map very, very well. And, uh, yeah. And it's nice to be it's nice to be back on it, if I'm being honest. But I think it might be time to skip forward a little bit, a little bit of music, get rid of this face off the screen, and let's just crack on and let's get this feel done.
Here we go. We are just coming down to the last little bit here. There we go. So any of you eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed that I may have been using a hired worker and the money may have gone down a little tiny bit. But I've decided that I am going to do, especially for the uh, for those bits, I am going to use a hired worker and um, we can kind of pan out and get a little bit of extra um, footage, I think would be the best option or the best the best word to use there, I think. But we are done. That is done, dusted, finished. That will be a day's work. Now, getting paid for said work, I think what I've decided to do is, from memory, from memory, it's about... I'm actually going to do... I just thank you. From memory, can I get rid of you, please? Do not need course play up. It's about two to three grand for a medium, small to medium sized field. So I think if we say five grand for that, three grand for the bigger one, two grand for the other one I think that should would be okay I'll tell you what we'll do I'll tell you what we'll do anyone that's watching right now drop me a comment in the comment section let me know what should we do what should we do payment wise I mean that's what we get I think if we looked at contracts on Angham I think those fields would pay between two and three grand for fertilizing so i don't think we're far off the mark there but drop me a comment let me know let me know if you think that's kind of fair to be doing it like that um and uh yeah we can move on from there but that's it a day a day is done a day is done on the farm over here on attingham and the contractors series i am happy oh hello oh hello what is going on there i'm happy the two fields are done they're gonna be happy well apart from the little bit of crop that i accidentally run over but apart from that i think everything's gonna be absolutely fine guys that's it thank you ever so much for watching if you have enjoyed this then and if you have enjoyed this and you want more Click that box on the screen. Catch you in the next one.